Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. So after all of that Gino Harridan nonsense, let's continue exploring this area. We need to infiltrate the Sith Embassy. Oh, we can also go to Otto East. This planet is a lot bigger than I remember. This street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. This is a public street. Hiding behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowards. If you want me to pay a toll, you should guard a bridge instead, not a street. Selkath, soldier. Uh, what do we have here? A lost off-worlder, perhaps? You're probably here for the swoop races. Track is through the West Corridor. Get moving. Ugh, I hate the rabble the races attract. They're always trouble. I don't think I asked your opinion, Sith. What did you say? You don't want trouble from me, friend. You might as well take a blaster to your own head. You don't look so tough to me. So, you have some courage. Dumb as a Beaumont cast off, but you've got courage. What do you hope to accomplish with this threat? Even if you expected to live through my attack, the Selkath would lock you up for fighting in their streets. I made no threat, I merely voiced an opinion. Ah, oh, so you wish to goad me into action so the Selkath turn their unyielding laws my way? Amusing. Perhaps you aren't so foolish. You've made your jest on the one world where you would not be immediately struck down. I suggest you walk away while your assumption holds true. Hey there, cleaning droids. Good to know. Ah, swoop registration. Let's see, I'm pretty sure these are all... Soup racers. Greetings, human. Have you come here to watch the soup races? I find they're an excellent way to relieve stress. And in my business, I need all the stress relief I can get. Who are you? My name is Vek. I work for Ithorak Goldar, a merchant who deals in very rare and expensive art. He serves as the go-between for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. I serve as Ethorax security advisor, a highly demanding job. The fact that Ethorax seems to delight in insulting and berating me makes it even more difficult. You're wearing a Sith uniform. Are you with the Sith? To be honest, no. Not really. I just wear this uniform to gain respect. People are less likely to give me trouble if they think I might be with the Sith. Don't you think the Sith might take an exception to that? Well, maybe, I guess, but... The Sith here on Manan aren't about to do anything to get them in trouble. Not if it means getting sanctions against their Kalto shipments. As long as I don't actually say I'm with the Sith, they don't seem to mind. So I use this outfit to give me the psychological edge I need. Being a Thorax security advisor isn't easy. Yes, I can see how it would be very stressful. You can't even begin to imagine how hard it is dealing with the galaxy's cultural elite. They're like spoiled children throwing tantrums whenever they don't get their way. And Ithorak is the worst of them all. You idiot, Vec! How could you be so stupid, Vec? 
He thinks my job is easy, but I'd like to see where he'd be without me. I'm, I'm sorry for that outburst. I came here to relax, but just talking about working is making me tense. So allow me to wish you a civil good day, so I can get back to watching the racers. No, I don't want to talk to you. No. Not interested. Soup racers only. Okay. Hello there, are you looking to book the swoop course for a practice run? There will be a small positioning fee of 20 credits to have your swoop bike ready. No, I want to race. I want an officially timed race. Please speak to the course regulator for information on challenging the current leaders in each race category. Okay, I guess it's this guy. Greetings to you all, Furlder. Are you here as a spectator, or will you be entering the swoop field as a contender? I'm interested in racing. I'm sure you are. We welcome all racers, regardless of professional status. We are trying to maintain a full field of competitors. Of course. With the destruction in Terrace, we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Our sector champion was one of the casualties there. I won the season opener on Terrace. I hesitate to believe that. Sith interference disrupted any hollow feed that might have verified your story. We only know that all on Terrace were lost. You are welcome to prove your skill here, regardless of experience. The course is open to any that have the means to participate. 100 credits must be paid for each officially timed attempt that you make. This amount will be due before each race. I'm ready to race. Very well, but before we place your swoop in the starting position, I must collect the 100 credit fee. Lowering the fee would encourage new racers. I would tend to agree. We already have a number of racers that are struggling. I will drop the fee to 50 credits. I'll pay the 50 credits. Very good, Offworlder. Now we must determine what time you will be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Quiddle is the local favorite, but this won't be much of a race. This swoop simply isn't professional quality. Time to beat, 23.82. Manan Soup Racing fans, we have a race about to commence. Show your respect as the newcomer challenges Quiddle for round 1 placing. Here we go. It's time for some swooping. Oh. Wrong button there. Haven't done this in a while, literally ever since Teres was destroyed. Got it. Winners of the first round are paid 500 credits. It's enough to cover your expenses, but you'll have to keep racing to really make it pay. We'll record this for future reference, and wish you well on your attempt to reach Sector Champion. I'm ready to race. Yeah, yeah, credit fee. 
Cassandra Mateo is your opponent for this round. Her time is 23.25, remains the respectable mark to beat. Racing fans, your attention, a new challenger will now attempt to unseat Cassandra Mateo. Let them hear you. 23.25, right? Okay. We can manage that. What? Why? Oh. For some reason my keys weren't working right there, which is weird. Damn it. I lost way too much time at the start. No, my flawless record. Yeah, let's do it again. This time for sure. Much better start. Completely crushed it. All hail your new champion. A second round win is worth 2000 credits to you. Many racers bow out when they reach this level, but I have a feeling you won't. That feeling is correct. I won't. The next round of races will determine set of champion. You'll have to be flawless to achieve that. Oh, I will be. I'm ready to race. Uh, before you do, your next race would be against the leading time set by racer Jax. He was very insistent that you speak with him first. Please try not to anger the Gamorian. He could prove troublesome, and we don't want the scandal of having to jail professional swoop racers. I'll be back later. Let me guess. It's some sort of threat so I don't beat his time. Yeah, you come talk to me. I got something to say to you, little racer. Huck the Jax doesn't like how fast you go. I told you once already and I want you to remember. You don't win the sector champion spot. If you do, there will be trouble. I will race and I will win. Then you and Hakta Jax are going to, are gonna have problems. I promise you that. You was warned. Yeah, I will see who ends up victorious here. His time is twenty two fifty. Didn't I just beat that time in my previous run? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, crushed it again. Screw you, Hakta. Hail your new champion. Oh, I'm even doing the, a little jig there.
including Sector Champion, you have proven a spectacular racer, despite the near lawless taunting of Huck the Jax. You have won a great deal of money, the payment for becoming Sector Champion is 5000 credits. This will be the last amount offered for now. When we begin a new round of races, we will make certain you are not notified. I win. Alright, swoop racing is done. What's next? Probably something over here. Your Tal's Emporium. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? Yes, I have a fine piece right here. A little dented, but still serviceable, and a real bargain at that price. I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Get out of my store. I'm sick of you Sith and your stupid jokes. I've got real customers to worry about. I don't need you coming in here and making fun of my inventory every day. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Are you here to mock me as the Sith, or do you actually want to buy something? I'm interested in buying something. Please forgive me, I had no cause to be so rude to you. The Sith make such trouble for me and business has been slow. But that is no excuse for my tone, I apologize, please. Let us start off on the right foot. Welcome to the used goods store of Yortal Ixlis. If there is anything I can help you with, all you need to do is ask. Okay? Let me check your stuff. Droid heavy plating. Droid stuff. Mm, not interested. Ah, and the Sith Embassy. Okay. I know you. You're the arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. If there's any justice in the galaxy, they'll feed Sunray to the Phyrexans. Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? I have business with the Sith. Ha! We know who we have business with. If you don't know how to get in, then we don't want anything to do with you. Now back off. I know the passcodes. Oh, really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Well then, what is it? Hmm. Yes, well, I... I suppose you really do have some business here. Head on in. I'll ignore your snark for now, but don't get on my bad side. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I know the passcode. Your passcode is out of date, and I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. Really, there's no need for all of this. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them, and their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! I was just here on a friendly visit. Well, that was easy. Any loot around? I don't think so. Let's do Atu City. This is a door. 
and another door. Let's start with this one. Was that a mine or something? Flow control room. Some of my dudes just level up. Oh, I think I remember these doors. We'll come back later. I don't know if there's an easy way to open them or if I need to solve the puzzle every time. Droid upgrade class 3. Nice. powers you can get destroy droids oh I need two those need level 15 fine get force now get night speeds for yourself that's useful what There are some remains. And more remains. Got the water pump something. Where is it? Water pump analysis. Something about an airlock mechanism. Now everyone has to know how to cycle the water out of one room. The external flow controls push the water into the chambers north and south only now. The... Flow controls on the inside wall switches the water between sides east and west. The trick now is to push the water to the north and south extremes and switch the water east-west and walk through. Yeah, we need to move water from these. Warning, activating flow control may flood occupied Filled with water. What about this one? It's also filled. Warning. Oh, it will flood this one. I don't want to flood this one. I'm in it. Water has been transferred to an adjoining pressure chamber. This one too. This one doesn't even Warning. work. Activating flow control mate. Aborted. Control panel is currently malfunctioning. Warning. Okay, this works. Warning. That didn't work.
Warning. I... Okay. Hooray, we got it. I hope there's some good stuff in here. Oh, there's some dark Jedi. Let's armor up. One down, two to go. Bio antidote package. I think that's an implant. What? Level three immunity to poison. Uh, the advanced biostabilizer is a lot better. Can I use any of these computers? No. Oh, and then area your sure. strength amplifier. It's only plus two. Some extra crystals are always welcome. What about this room? Okay, that was easy. Let's see, this guy had a lot of experience. But it hmm, dropped nothing. There's some guys, let's overload. Security room. Disable force fields. I want to kill the droids myself for the experience, so we'll let them live. This is where we are, so let's not override that terminal there. Training room. Can't do much in there. But there were Salkath. Uh, steam control room. Deactivate steam vents. Disassembly room. No overloads. I don't need a schematic. Yes. I want to know where I've been. Experience do I need? Four thousand. That's a fake door. Ah, uh, low level. Sure. Okay. Let's forget about that. Don't you have destroyed droids? Yeah, that works. Just spam destroy droid, Julie. That's all you gotta do. Sure. They drop stuff? Nice. Ok, 
casually keep curing. Sure. Oh, he's stasis. That's bad. Oh, that one is dead. Nice. Oh, T3 just died all of a sudden. Hmm, this one didn't drop anything. Okay. Okay, we're deep inside the Sith base here on Manan, but we have to end the episode for now. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Knights of the Old Republic, and I'll see you all next time.